Welcome back to our Fearless Filipina segment here on uh, my channel, the Ian Galigas channel. My name is Ian Galigas. And today we're going to be talking about someone who we all know, or probably your parents or your grandparents would know, as an actress. She is the original superstar of Philippine cinema. Um, and you will probably know her name quite familiar and be like, no, that sounds familiar. I wonder where I heard that from. Hold your horses, boys and girls, we're going to get there. Today, we're going to talk about Carmen Rosales. Carmen Rosales is, uh, well, was the original superstar of Philippine cinema. And she was born on March 3, 1917 and died on December 11, 1991. Carmen Rosales was just a screen name. Her real name actually is Januaria Constantino Keller. Januaria, Januaria, January, Keller. Keller, there you go, uh, that's actually Swedish. Her dad was Swedish and her mom is Filipina. Mom's name is Pilar Constantino or Constantino y de la Cruz. So that's like Spanish, Pilar de la Cruz Constantino. Because they're baliktad like that. I took up Spanish in college but failed it. I am so sorry, Senora Lim. Yes, my Spanish teacher's name is Senora Lim. She was Chinese. But, anyway. Carmen Rosales, what you don't know about her actually is that she is a guerrilla fighter. Look, remember that other video about Trinidad Texon where um, I told you that Filipinas usually fight when their loved ones get hurt or they need to protect them. Yeah. So the thing, this is what happened to Carmen Rosales. Her husband was killed during the Japanese occupation and that didn't sit quite well with her. One, so hard to find the love of your life and when you find one that someone else kind of like axes the dude, yeah, there's hell to be paid. So, um, she was actually a dressmaker before she started acting. And before she actually started acting, she was a singer on the radio. Because radio at that time was the in thing. It's like, you know, YouTube or SoundCloud or Spotify. Trying to be cool, trying to be hip. A big yen. Um, she actually was married to Ramon Navares, who is another radio personality, and then she appeared in a movie. The first movie that she appeared in was in 1938, entitled Mahiwagang Pinipini, and it was that movie that made her a contract artist of Sampaguita Pictures. Um, during that time as well, she's a little bit of a badass because they're very conservative at that time. Okay, very conservative. It's like, I agree with your statement. Um, during that time, he, she had a love team. This was, you know, unang panahon, uso na talaga, love team. Ay! Maski ako, nagkaroon ako ng kalab team. Oh, i-google yan. <laughs> and her legendary love team partner is actually Rogelio de la Rosa. And they made a lot of movies together. And this was like the time where they made, they would make out. And there's like, kung merong idon sulueta mo ako moment na it's the hills and then she run and then may Richard Gomez na sasalo sa yung iaangat ka ganyan. Rogelio de la Rosa and Carmen Rosales, meron din sila. They were kind of like known for the puno over the hill kissing each other, hawakan ng kamgadon. Meron din sila, sila yung love team to beat ng panahon na yun. Anyway, so a lot of things changed when World War II broke out and uh, Ramon Navales was killed by the Japanese. So ito na yun, nagalit si Ate. Carmen was out for vengeance. Okay, so she 
um, she actually joined the underground movement where she started with um, she actually started in Santa Rosa Laguna where she was actually involved in the killing of a Japanese collaborator or a Makapili. Later on, she flew uh, to or evaded capture to Silang Cavite and hid from the Japanese. She would, uh, because of her acting skills, she would disguise herself with a mustache and she would pretend and act like a man. So she would evade capture. She was also a sharpshooter and usually carried a caliber 45. Wow, what a freaking badass. And because of that, okay, when guerrillas usually, one thing that you have to, um, uh, this is what I understood from the legacy of the guerrillas. The guerrillas were there fighting against the Japanese, but once the Japanese surrendered, that was also the end for them. They didn't have to pick up another fight and fight another and fight another. For them, they've done their job. It's, it's done, okay? Um, their mission was accomplished when the Japanese signed their official surrender in 1945. So most of the time, because of um, still, metaphoring predominant and pre-existing uh, stereotype and, and thought mentality of how a Filipina is, a lot of Filipino films, especially the post-war films, portray hindi natapos, kumbaga, during the Spaniard time, Spanish time, where Maria Clara was supposedly the the ultimate goal for a Filipina, the Americans kind of still, well, not Americans, but the post-war, the Filipino films still kind of portrayed Filipinas like that, where they're lovesick, they're secondary only, and all of this. So it's during this time, the 1940s, it was also some sort of liberation um, type. It was a liberation period for Filipinas. Because Carmen Rosales now was taking center stage and, and portraying herself basically in the films. Um, Batalion uh, 13, which was in 1949, and Guerrilla, uh, with a Y, Guerrillera, Guerrillera, sorry, Guerrillera in 1946. So Carmen Rosales was the star of both of those films and she portrayed herself as a fighting guerrilla, as a Filipina. And basically, it wasn't a, a biopic. It was, it was her biopic. So she's pretty freaking badass. If you can find, there's this one, um, uh, what do you call this? There's this one column by the Philippine Star if you can find it, it was uh, it's an article about Carmen Rosales, and you can see more stories here as told by her children. So Carmen retired in the mid 1960s, and she was more known to be the superstar, an actress of her generation, the one. And she died in 1991 of kidney malfunction at the age of 74. We need more fearless Filipinas in our lives and we need to have their stories told. Um, if you have any suggestion at all, please do drop me the links, comment down below, comment, subscribe, send me stories, send me links, tell me I'm wrong, correct me, I would love that, but give me proof, give me evidence, tell me who you want to hear about next. Okay, and we'll try to research on it and see what interesting stuff we can find all right that's it for this week's fearless filipina my name is ian Galias. i will see you on the next episode bye